A lot on the line for women's soccer yesterday. They hosted Wisconsin Parkside for the quarterfinal round of the GLIAC tournament, and the Rangers have been playing some great soccer, upsetting number six Grand Valley State just over a week ago. The Cats would score in the 24th minute after multiple quality runs at the box. This corner kick gets them in good position. Looks like Ashley Cook may get it to go, but great hands from Mia Guyton to keep it out. A second effort off the foot of Maria Storm is denied off the goalpost, but a third and final attempt from Storm finally finds the back of the net, and Northern led 1-0. We'd go into the half with no update to the scoreboard and the Wildcats out shooting the Rangers 11-3. Second half now, and Northern would add to their lead in the 55th minute. Brooke Piedela has a shot blocked by the keeper, but Brenna Musser is there for the header, and what looked like another block shot ended up being goal number two for the Wildcats, as the Parkside defender was behind the goal line. NMU cruised through the final stretch of this one and claimed the shutout victory to survive in advance on yet another standout performance from Shanae Kreps in net for Northern. She had seven saves in her eighth shutout of the year, coming off Conference Defensive Player of the Week honors. While the box score may say otherwise, this one was a battle for all 90 minutes and took a team effort to pull together and win against a quality opponent. I think we expected a, a pretty big challenge just because of the things that you mentioned and then also because, you know, it's been pretty clear that Parkside has gone through some injuries through this year. So they had a tough go at really putting themselves at full strength, but they're really well coached and they, they, they battle really hard. And so they definitely took us to the brink, so it was good to get the result. Uh, but yeah, you know, kudos to, to Parkside and to, uh, to their coaching staff. They did a great job, they had a great plan, and uh, you know, a couple different bounces, it could have gone another way. The team travels down to Grand Valley Friday to take on Saginaw Valley State in a game that Coach Sandoval and his team know will be a tall task after splitting with the Cardinals this season. They're a team that is very well coached, and they also execute in a lot of different phases of the game. Uh, they play a good brand of soccer, so we got to know we got to do a little bit uh, better uh, in some areas if we're going to pull out a result on uh, Friday. For the NMU Wildcats, I'm Kobe Manzo.